Hi! In today's video, I wanted to show how you can customize your synthetic wig in cutting it more layered. Actually, I came up with this idea. I've been doing wigs for a little while now, and this wig has been my most repeated unit. It has it comes as a 13 times six lace front synthetic wig. It has really nice pink color, ombre root. They come in this kind of way, nice and straight. But I customize them for my clients. Everybody's been loving this style, so I thought I can show you and teach you how it is exactly done. Stay tuned. But she is in length of 24 inches. I usually prep my wigs with Dyson Air Wrap, the brush nozzle. When they come out of the package, it gets naughty. I spray it with clothing detergent. I have read so far, a lot of people say it doesn't work. It works for me. It softens it up and it's much easier to brush it. Scissors, definitely thinning scissors. Having the, I think it's the one millimeter hyena opening. We're gonna first cut the frame and then we're gonna thin it out. So because with the thinning out and cutting, it's not gonna tangle as much as it normally does. Those people who have been wearing synthetic wigs, they know what I'm talking about. So what we are doing is we grab our wiggy, we place it on the stand like I did, and we separate it in half, like at the back. So from the center area, going back, with the help of this stand, I can actually get the head down. It should be like 45 degrees bend. This way, side, like that. And now what we're doing, we're gonna use elastic and just separating piece by piece because we want to create a graduality this area as well you're just gonna find the top when it's in 45 degrees and you're gonna go down it should take you it should look like this and the other half you can just put on the back we're just taking about two finger sections creating a little triangles measuring it down like down to the butt the elastics on 24 centimeters and then the waist just can do this on the first one don't go too tight because it's just going to take up too much time again two fingers moving the elastic one half an inch one centimeter Further. And you don't have to be too precise. The main thing is the angle and that it's separated. If she is in 45 degrees, you're gonna direct it up. You take that, like let's say one finger here. This is very important to create a layery look. Don't be afraid if it feels like, oh my God, I'm cutting off so much. It will make sense. Because if the haircut isn't straight, you will end up having like the, the front pieces are always going to be cut off a bit more. Don't be afraid if it's a bit matted. With a nice layer, the look that I'm trying to create, it should be not fake looking, kind of natural looking. And if we all know, synthetic wigs come with a lot of density. They have the same thickness till ends and human hair doesn't have that. So we have to create in different lengths. And I will show you the technique for that. You should be very careful if you cut your own hair with this way, like the thinning scissor step I would avoid if you decide to have this haircut on your friend. But if you do it on a synthetic way, it's totally okay because they don't have that natural different length layers inside. With the pieces that we left at the back, we just take one big chunk. And as you will see, as we take it to the front, there's not much left to cut off. And it's just a tiny bit. And this is just the very tip. And the back bit I'm leaving out. This is there. At the back, what's left? There's a little forward, and this should be like a triangle that's gonna sit there at the back. And we're gonna move all of these back because we have secured them with the elastics. Grab our scissors. I wouldn't advise just to go in like that. There was a very famous video where Brad Mondo was uh, looking how one girl in New York, very very long hair, she did her hair cut layered, and he would try to he was trying to recreate it. It didn't work out. Why it didn't work out? Because he was using the wrong angle. When she was cutting her hair uh, with the knife, she was going from under underneath and cutting it. So she was creating the layer, like the graduality we're gonna create now. With the first bit, you go like that and, and this is what you do. So I would even do like that. Just like kinda slowly opening and closing. And it's gonna create a distressed look. And we start to cut it about in this area. If you look, it's about there. Definitely gonna create a bit more length than we actually assumed. Let me just speed it up. Now 
Let's just open up those elastics. This is so to say your step number one. It is framing out the cup. To show you, this is only after we did that cup. There's a lot of nice moment going on. And like I said, you see the angle that we took. There's nothing too much cut off. She still has that length. And let me just show you the back where it connects with the triangle. This is the length. It still looks totally fine. Let's go to step number two. Okay, I have separated her. And this is how it looks. So top area is where the lace is forming. If you're using a smaller lace, for example, it ends there, you just have to take the top bit together. This is the area from the ear top going back. That is the hair that's gonna sit on our back. So it has to have a bit more thinning so it doesn't match up as much. And the middle area, so we don't lose that much of thickness inside. And with the face frame, we're also gonna do some to some tricks to create that different length. What we are doing now is always start with the side, take small sections. You don't just go and cutting like that because you're gonna see the line where you cut. You always lift it up or even go more up, but you, you're gonna go one, two, and three. And that looks like this. With one, two, three, you cut in, you slide up. Again, you cut in, you slide up. And again, you cut in and slide up. That's it. That piece is I'm gonna go through like this to every piece at the back. The hair that we have here, after I finish that, I will still thin out the ends, like kind of the middle part, so it doesn't get matted when, when the person is wearing it. A good tip is you leave this as it is because then you know when you did the job. Just did. done with that just gonna brush it out good tip always start from the ends you can go in there but you will just end up messing it up and wasting too much time up oh, much easier it's like detangling any type of back on link and i suppose because this takes a while i'm gonna make video number two with the styling like I said, like when you look at it, you start the different lengths. I'm gonna still work on this piece that part is always knotting up like crazy this way I'm creating a bit more human hair vibe on a synthetic wig. Done. Always clipping away the area I have worked on. Same rules apply. Again, find slices. Now comes the front piece. With the front you're gonna start with the face frame and you're gonna direct front. Parallel. It's like this. Up. And you're gonna start thinning out because this is a, a lace top, so the graduality starts here. I'm just gonna hit it there. And you saw me do it four times. Same thing on the other side. So the section I'm taking is about half inch thickness. Okay, again, I'm not touching them. I'm gonna finish that afterwards. And the front piece, bend her over and then piece by piece small piece by piece we're just gonna direct it to the front so again half an inch less than half an inch centimeter one centimeter less than one centimeter and we just do like this and because it is a flat section yeah it looks like that instead of me cutting this way i'm gonna follow up with my scissors being parallel moving it and if i'm gonna end up having too thick of a section i'm just gonna separate it in two pieces that looks like this Again, the importance is the direction. As I'm getting more closer to the back, instead of cutting it here, I'm still doing it in the ends. So I don't want to lose too much of the graduality in the root. And also, like I said, because it has been ventilated on the lace, it does have already some, you see, natural graduality there. So I don't want to make it too... Let me just quickly brush it out and then I'll show you another thing in the face frame what we do. 
Teyush is all brushed out. As you can see, the cut was already good before. But, uh, a bit more, nicer. While I was brushing it out, I thought that a lot of you might raise a question. Why are you thinning it out so badly and this and that? It does help for the curl because if you have different lengths and especially for synthetic, that's why they sometimes have flatness here and a lot of volume here, a lot of in-between length to support volume. It also helps for a voluminous curl. And as we know, it's not the care. If it's style, you get in rain, it's not gonna fall down. And now what I will do, again, bend her over, split the hair in. I would just clean off the length. Classic cut. So again, we, and I suppose in this, in this part, you can already go straight because you see those all different lengths. And if there's a big, see? You do it in an softer exactly the same thing on the other side and if you have followed the step too much of measuring out you do it all right or not i usually put the wig on my head and just run through the fingers from just the top area from here from ear to ear where it crosses i will gather all the hair front and measure it out And another thing I'm doing, section, but just like the middle, it's like from the highest top of the eyebrow, and then brush it all together, direct it to the front, I'm just gonna do this way, so where the hair starts to fall out, this is gonna create the top layer a bit more in a moment, that last cut, of course you can work with more on it, it would just create a fit falls back, it actually goes back instead of going in the face. And now the front bits. I always take a centimeter and then I will direct it to the front. But the trick that I'm doing, I'm not gonna do it on all. So I will just somehow like take the, take the piece of hair measure, and then I'll feather it out like highlighting. And this one I'm gonna go a bit closer as well these hair they have to fall in a bit shorter actually they're not as thick as well it's just to check my cutting and that's also it's a classic way what we do when we set in extensions we see the flaw so we connect it brush it through take it on my finger and just go like that taking off the wispy bits. You just follow the pattern. All of the secret is how lightly you cut with the scissors. If you're a newbie, be careful. Just the very top. We take about three fingers and we go in the side. So create a little bit of a try and go. Take the hair. Twist it, twist it, twist it. Then where it measures on the chin. And here she is. So you see the pattern? It's a really nice moment. And with the top part, when I did the angle, when I lifted it up, create the movement say she is on the side so like that the hair is somehow gonna create a way it's gonna fall down it will be like that like this you see the layers so there is a movement throughout thank you for tuning in and recreating this beautiful flawless cut i love the color by the way it's everyone if you want to see how i style it nice wavy pattern how i finish some cuts for the curl then you should see the part two video because it was just too long and i'm realizing a lot of people don't like to sit nowadays anymore that long on in front of the television i will learn something but yeah thanks for tuning in uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel like this video and leave a comment if you want to have more videos i'm doing recently some synthetic recovering and i'm gonna showcase my four units i did for an oslo moto show Ciao!